far beyond the sunlit worlds of our familiar solar system. Beyond Mercury's scorching plains, Venus's veiled atmosphere, Earth's vibrant blue oceans, and the gas giant's swirling storms. There exists a vast and shadowy realm so remote and so faintly understood that it might as well be a secret kept by the cosmos itself. This is the Oort Cloud, a colossal, almost unfathomably distant shell of icy bodies and frozen debris that encircles the sun, enveloping our entire solar system in a vast, cold embrace that stretches nearly halfway to the nearest stars. If you imagine the solar system as a small, warm campfire, the Oort Cloud would be like the farthest embers glowing weakly in the dark wilderness beyond the light's reach. It is here, in this shadowed frontier, that some of the oldest and most pristine relics of our cosmic origins reside. Quiet sentinels from the birth of the sun and planets, holding within their icy cores the secrets of the primordial nebula from which all life and matter in our solar system ultimately emerged. The concept of the Oort cloud emerged only in the mid-20th century, born out of a need to explain the mysterious origins of long-period comets, comets whose orbits take them hundreds of thousands or even millions of years to complete. The Dutch astronomer Jan Oort first theorized this enormous reservoir of icy bodies in 1950 after studying the orbits of such comets and realizing they must come from a distant, spherical shell surrounding the Sun. Prior to this, astronomers struggled to explain how comets on such lengthy, elongated orbits could have remained gravitationally bound to the solar system. Oort's insight transformed our understanding of the solar system's architecture, revealing that its reach extends far beyond the known planets and the Kuiper Belt, a donut-shaped band of icy objects beyond Neptune into a vast, diffuse halo of primordial debris. The Oort cloud is not a solid object, but rather a sparse collection of trillions of icy bodies, comets, dwarf planets, and countless smaller fragments, floating in orbits so distant that the sun's light and warmth are mere faint glimmers. Its outer boundary lies at nearly 100,000 astronomical units, AU, from the sun. One AU is the average distance from Earth to the sun, roughly 150 million kilometers. This means the Oort cloud stretches out nearly two light years, enveloping the solar system in a vast, nearly spherical cocoon. At this immense distance, the gravitational pull of the sun is barely stronger than that of passing stars and the galactic tide. The collective gravity of the Milky Way's disk and bulge, which continuously perturb the orbits of Oort cloud objects. The formation of the Oort cloud is a tale of violence, chaos, and cosmic recycling that dates back to the solar system's turbulent youth. Approximately 4.6 billion years ago, our sun was born from the collapse of a giant molecular cloud, a cold, dense region of gas and dust in our galaxy. As the cloud collapsed, it spun faster and flattened into a protoplanetary disk where dust particles collided and stuck together growing into larger planetesimals. Within this primordial disk, the rocky inner planets and the gas giants formed. But the gravitational interactions during this time were far from serene. Giant planets, particularly Jupiter and Saturn, acted as cosmic slingshots, their immense gravity scattering countless icy planetesimals outward. Many were ejected entirely into interstellar space, becoming rogue wanderers between the stars, but a great number were scattered into distant orbits where the sun's gravity could still hold them, forming the spherical halo we now call the Oort Cloud. Unlike the relatively flat and concentrated asteroid belt and Kuiper belt, 
The Oort cloud shape is nearly spherical, indicating that the scattered icy objects were perturbed by gravitational forces from all directions, both from planets within the solar system and from the outside including passing stars and galactic tidal forces. Over millions of years, these forces nudged the objects into orbits that extended far beyond the planets and enveloped the sun in a cosmic shell of ancient ice. These objects are the frozen leftovers of the early solar nebula, preserving a chemical record of the solar system's formation conditions. The composition of Oort cloud objects is fascinating and holds keys to understanding not only our solar system's past, but also the potential for life elsewhere. Composed mainly of water ice, frozen methane, ammonia, carbon monoxide, and complex organic compounds, these icy bodies are a chemical time capsule. The organic molecules locked within them are fundamental building blocks for prebiotic chemistry, the complex chemical processes that may lead to the origin of life. Studying these objects can reveal how organic matter was distributed in the early solar system and potentially delivered to Earth via comets, possibly contributing to the emergence of life in our planet's primordial oceans. While the Oort cloud is vast and distant, it is not static or isolated. It exists in a dynamic galactic environment, orbiting the Milky Way at approximately 220 kilometers per second, completing one orbit roughly every 225 to 250 million years. During this journey, the solar system passes through different regions of the galaxy encountering varying stellar densities and gravitational influences. Passing stars, sometimes within a few light years, exert subtle but important gravitational tugs on the Oort cloud. Additionally, the galactic tide, a force exerted by the gravitational field of the Milky Way's disk, perturbs the orbits of Oort cloud objects, occasionally nudging them inward toward the sun. These disturbances can send comets cascading into the inner solar system, becoming the spectacular long-period comets that grace our skies. These long-period comets are of extraordinary scientific interest. Their orbits, often lasting hundreds of thousands to millions of years, bring material from the farthest reaches of the solar system directly to us. When comets approach the sun, the increase in temperature causes their ices to sublimate, creating glowing comas and tails that can stretch millions of kilometers. These spectacular displays have inspired human awe, fear, and fascination throughout history, appearing in ancient records as omens or messages from the heavens. In modern times, they have become invaluable scientific laboratories offering direct access to primordial material from the early solar system. Recent space missions have begun to unlock the mysteries of these ancient travelers. The European Space Agency's Rosetta mission, for example, landed a probe on Comet 67P slash Churyumov-Gerasimenko, providing unprecedented data on cometary composition, structure, and behavior. Such missions have revealed that comets contain complex organic molecules, including amino acids, the building blocks of proteins, and that their icy interiors preserve a rich and varied chemical inventory. These discoveries support the idea that comets may have delivered some of the essential ingredients for life to Earth billions of years ago, acting as cosmic couriers of organic chemistry. Beyond their scientific importance, comets, and by extension, the Oort cloud, may have played a profound role in shaping Earth's biological history. Some scientists propose that periodic comet showers, triggered by gravitational disturbances in the Oort cloud caused by passing stars or molecular clouds, could have coincided with mass extinction events or bursts of evolutionary innovation. 
The famous impact event that ended the age of the dinosaurs 66 million years ago, caused by a large asteroid or comet, illustrates how cosmic debris can have catastrophic consequences for life on Earth. The idea that the Oort cloud, this distant and hidden reservoir, might influence the course of life on our planet brings a deep cosmic perspective to Earth's history.